Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video, I will explain and solve problem set 8 cookie jar. So, in this uh, problem, we want to implement a program or uh, actually implement a class with uh, these uh, methods. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, let's get right into it and start with our first method, which is uh, init. So this uh, method uh, will be automatically called uh, whenever we initiate an object of this class and we can specify the capacity of our cookie jar. If we, if we don't, for example, if we just uh, made, okay, let me make a main function. So if we want to make uh, an object of this class, we should do this. Uh, we can specify the capacity, and if we don't, it will be by default equals to 12. Uh, so yeah, um, what we want to add here uh, is to check if the capacity that the user provides is not a negative number. So let's uh, do this, yeah. So if uh, the capacity is less than and zero we want to actually raise a value error and otherwise we will uh, assign uh, the attribute capacity to the capacity that the user provides okay so let's see if that's working but we need to comment these uh, properties here because it will raise an error Okay, let's call our main function. Okay, I think we need to uh, modify this method because uh, whenever we print the object, it returns the capacity. Uh, okay, but actually, Okay, we, we can just print jar.capacity and this should be equals to 12 since we haven't provided uh, the capacity. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 12. Okay, let's now test if we uh, provide another capacity, 4 for example. So yeah, it's 4 now. And what if we put a negative number? This should raise a value error. Okay, great. Uh, we raised a value error. So yeah, let's move on to the uh, this method, the, the one that will modify whenever we print uh, an object. So for example, if we want to print our object jar, okay, now it will Yeah, but first let's uh, make this a uh, positive number and uh, let's comment uh, the method here and let's see what will be printed. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's not really useful. So that's why we have this method here. So yeah, let's modify it and choose what uh, the print will uh, uh, return so yeah uh, i think that yeah the problem uh, wants us to return uh, the number of cookies uh, inside uh, our uh, cookie jar so uh, we need to print uh, a cookie uh, multiplied to the size of uh, our cookie jar so the capacity is just the maximum number of cookies that we can hold in a cookie jar but the size is the actual number of cookies we have so let's here uh, make an, uh, another attribute size and uh, initiate it with uh, zero and here let's multiply it by the size So for now it will 
actually print nothing because the size is equal to zero. So let's modify these two uh, methods and uh, then try some examples. So in the deposit method, uh, we want to add uh, in uh, number of cookies uh, to our size. So self dot size plus uh, the end which uh, the user will provide whenever he calls this uh, method but uh, we actually need to make an if statement because what if the user provides more cookies than the capacity can hold so if l, uh, uh, n is more than um, self the capacity uh, then we will actually raise an error and also another condition and uh, if the the number of cookies the user wants to deposit uh, plus then the number of cookies that we already have is more than the capacity so let's make another condition for this L n uh, plus self dot size is more than self dot capacity this should also raise an error so raise value error okay that's great i think this method is uh, ready and let's move on to the withdraw method so but uh, this time we will actually subtract from our uh, size variable so this time will be minus sorry minus uh, the number of uh, cookies that the user will uh, withdraw but we also have to make another condition because what if the user wants to withdraw more cookies than we have so if uh, n is more than uh, the size we would raise value error okay this also is ready i think we can test our program now so here we initiated an object uh, with capacity equal to four so if we print our jar uh, nothing should be printed because we are going to multiply uh, the cookie uh, by the size which is zero for now so let's see if that's working so yeah as you can see it's uh, an empty line so now let's try to deposit uh, cookies to our uh, jar and you can do this by calling the method um, uh, deposit and let's deposit two and this time we actually should see two cookies printed so yeah as you can see there are two cookies printed right now so let's try if we withdraw uh, a cookie uh, what will happen so now this should uh, only print one cookie it printed three cookies yeah I, sorry i deposited let's withdraw withdraw so it's also two so we have a problem here yeah i made minus and the plus it should be minus equal sorry let's try again yeah now it's working so now what we have to do now is the these two properties the capacity and the size and the capacity should uh, return the capacity of our cookie jar and the size should return the size of our cookie jar so it will be simply returning uh, the capacity and the size so return self dot capacity and here return self dot size but unfortunately unfortunately it's not that easy why because if we run the, our program now we will get an error so yeah can't set attribute capacity because now we have a method called capacity and attribute called capacity so 
it, it conflicts with each other so what we can do is to add uh, underscore before the attribute capacity so we will add it here and also here and here so uh, pretty much everywhere we actually don't need to add it here uh, we just need to add it whenever we assign it to some uh, value so here and you also should change the size because you will have the same problem we have an attribute called size and a method called size so let's add underscore everywhere we assign it to a variable a uh, value so yeah for example we are we are changing the value so let's add an underscore and finally we add one here and i think it should work now so let's run the program again okay we also have an error for the size this this time so the capacity is uh, uh, is working. So yeah, we we missed someone here. Uh, so now it should work. Let's test. Yeah, it's working. But now let's see if our property is working. So whenever we call the capacity method or the size, we should get the capacity or the size of uh, our the cookie jar. So let's now print. Uh, cookie jar the capacity and let's also print uh, the size so this should output 4 because we uh, initialized uh, initialized our object with 4 uh, so the capacity should be equal to 4 and since we deposited 2 and withdraw 1 our size should be finally 1 so the output should be four and one so yeah that's working okay let me see if uh, anything is missing so yeah i think we pretty much uh, covered everything we only have left to uh, make our test uh, jar but yeah let's uh, actually see if this error is working so if we deposit uh, uh, more cookies than we can uh, hold in our uh, cookie jar so if we deposit 5 we should get an error value error so yeah value error so that's working and if we want to withdraw uh, more cookies than we have we should also get a value error so let's withdraw four and we only have three also a value error so yeah that's great we uh, we made our uh, class cookie uh, our class jar and it's ready to work now uh, what's left is to make our uh, test uh, for this uh, program but uh, before that let's actually use cs50 uh, to see if uh, if this uh, program uh, is passing every test so yeah uh, as you can see we passed every test actually uh, even the test uh, jar uh, because uh, actually my test jar was ready but now I uh, uh, removed everything I made here and here and here and now let's uh, make our uh, uh, test for our program so that was provided uh, from the problem and uh, yeah that tests uh, what will be printed so if we initiated an object uh, called jar uh, the output should be equal to nothing because we didn't deposit any cookie and uh, if we deposit one cookie uh, whenever we print our uh, object we will get one cookie and if we deposit 11 we will get 11 cookies so let's move to the test for uh, the init method so if we if you recall our init method has two attributes capacity and size so let's make our test cases on these uh, attributes so let's first uh, make an object called jar 
and let's initiate uh, the capacity to be equal to four for example and uh, before doing any further uh, modification uh, the capacity should be equal to four so assert jar dot capacity should be equal to four and the size since we haven't deposited any cookie yet should be equal to zero okay but now let's actually test if uh, we don't uh, provide uh, a parameter uh, when we initiate uh, or make a, an object so jar and leave it this empty so uh, the capacity should be equal to 12 so yeah I think uh, this is enough for uh, this test so let's move to other two tests for the, de the, the deposit and the withdraw so let's uh, again make an object called jar and uh, let's leave this empty so this, uh, the capacity should be equal to 12 now so let's deposit uh, four cookies for example or uh, yeah four so now our size should be equal to four so let's assert and jar.size uh, is equal to four uh, let's also deposit four more uh, cookies just to see if our uh, program will keep counting so now our uh, cookie jar should have uh, eight cookies and if we do this again we should ha now have 12 cookies so that's it for the deposit uh, let's uh, yeah let's make our test for uh, withdraw so let's again make an object and the capacity now is 12 let's actually deposit 12 cookies so with uh, actually deposit and 12 so now our size should be equal to 12 but that's not what we are going to test uh, we're going to test uh, if we withdraw cookies uh, will it be subtracted from the size or not so let's withdraw uh, four cookies so the size now should be equal to eight and if we do the same process two times more and here it's eight here it should be four and here should be zero so yeah let's uh, use pytest just to see if these tests will pass oh we have one failed okay where is that it is in the init okay we assert the jar of capacity equal to four. Oh yeah here we also uh, use the, the first object we have okay so we simply add one because that's what you're testing for and let's try and pytest again and yeah that's great everything is working and if you use check 50 again it will pass every test but let's make sure so yeah that uh, as you can see we passed every test that's uh awesome so yeah that's uh, the end of today's video thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time